Dear learners, the session topic is on integer and uh, rational exponent. Exponent in mathematics, we call it as a to the power of m. m is a power number and a is a base number. The a and m may be integer or rational form. And before we are going to solve the problems, we must start off with a set of rules. Rule number one. 0 exponent a to the power of 0 equal to 1 a is not equal to 0 this is called 0 exponent any number to the power of 0 is always 1 5 power 0 equal to 1 is a good example another example is half to the power of 0 is also 1 okay don't ask 0 power 0 0 power 0 is never okay that's why the condition is a is not equal to 0 the base number should be non zero number second rule we call it as a negative exponent a to the power of minus n equal to 1 divided by a to the power of positive n a once again not equal to 0 in fraction denominator becomes 0 it is undefined that is why a is not equal to 0. So, this is called negative exponent good example is 2 to the power of negative 3 which is equal to 1 divided by 2 to the power of positive 3 which is equal to 1 upon 8 another example is 1 by 3 to the power of negative 2 which is equal to one, 3 to the power of positive 2 which is equal to 3 times 3 is 9 <coughs> sorry. So, actually 1 by 3 reciprocal if you want to convert it into positive exponent you have to write the reciprocal of 1 by 3 1 by 3 reciprocal is 3. So, 3 to the power of positive 2 which is equal to 3 times 3 is 9. Come to the third rule uh, uh, product exponent a to the power of m times a to the power of m equal to a to the power of m plus n. If base numbers are same under multiplication, we can add the power that is called product exponent rule a to the power of m plus n. So, for example, 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of uh, 5, which is equal to 2 to the power of 3 plus 5, which is equal to 2 to the power of 8. Second example is half power 10 times half power minus 7 which is equal to half to the power of 10 minus 7 which is equal to half to the power of 3 half to the power of 3 is nothing but 1 by 8. Rule number 4 is quotient rule <coughs> sorry a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is a to the power of m minus n a is not equal to 0 ok. And uh, division if the base number are same we can subtract the power that is called the quotient rule. So, example <coughs> 5 power 5 divided by 5 power 3 is nothing but 5 to the power of 5 minus 3 which is equal to 5 to the power of 2 which is equal to 25. Second example half power 7 sorry half to the power of 7 divide half to the power of 3 which is equal to half to the power of 7 minus 3 is nothing but half 1 by 2 to the power of 4. 1 to the power of 4 is 1 for the numerator, 2 to the power of 4 is 16 for the denominator, the solution is 1 upon 16. Fifth rule, we call it as a power rule, a power m to the power of n is nothing but a to the power of m times n, which is which we can return it as a to the power of m n. Okay, remember a is not equal to 0, the base number should not be 0. So, good example is 3 power 2 to the power of 2 is 3 to the power of 2 times 2, nothing but 3 to the power of 4, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. Or you can stop it 3 to the power 4, we can write both the form. If you know you can simplify correctly, otherwise you can leave it as in an exponent power form. Another example is 1 by 3 to the power of 2 to the power of minus 3, 1 by 3 to the power of 2 times negative 3, 1 by 3 to the power of negative 6. I am applying here negative exponent. So, it becomes 3 to the power of positive 6, 3 power positive 6 is nothing but 729. Now, problem based on <coughs> exponent, sorry, simplify is always the standard questions from exponent. Okay. See the first question uh, 3 times x power 2 times 5 times x power 4 times 4 x to the power of minus 5. How to simplify this? See the question first of all 3, 5, 4. Multiply all the quotient value first of all 3 times 5 times 4 is nothing but 60. Then apply 
product exponent for x power 2 times x power 4 times x power negative 5 is nothing but x to the power of 2 plus 4 minus 5. It becomes x power 1. The answer is 60 times x. Second example is x to the power of minus 2 divided by x to the power of minus 3 whole to the power of negative 1. So, how to simplify this? First, apply power rule of exponent minus 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. The first numerator form is x power 2 divide by x to the power of minus 3 to the power of minus 1 become x to the power of positive 3. Now, we can apply quotient exponent x to the power of 2 minus 3 nothing but x to the power of minus 1 which is equal to 1 by x. We are applying negative exponent for this that is 1 by x. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Next example is 27 x power 5 times y power negative 5 whole divide by 18 y power minus 4 times x power 2. Simplify the problem. See the question first of all 27 divided by 18 simplify first of all that one by scratching with table 9. So, it becomes 3 by 2 of x to the power of 5 I am applying quotient rule for a variable x x power 5 minus 2 and apply quotient rule for the variable y y power minus 5 the y power negative 4 comes to the numerator become plus 4. Okay. If you simplify this x power 3 divide times y power negative 1 how to apply negative exponent for y power negative 1 power negative 1 it become y power positive 1. So, we can rewrite this form as 3 times x power 3 divided by 2 times y. Now, another good example simplify a power 10 times a power 7 divide 1 divided by a to the power of 3. I am applying quotient product uh, before applying quotient rule I am applying product rule of exponent for the first term. So, it become a power 10 plus 7 a to the power of 17 and apply quotient rule for this it become a to the power of plus 3 become negative 3. So, a to the power of 17 minus 3 it become a power 14. Another problem simplify a uh, very good standard uh, challenging problem for uh, the students 1 plus x to the power of minus 1 divided by 1 minus x to the power of minus 1. How to simplify? So, first apply negative exponent for this term x power minus 1 it become 1 by x 1 plus 1 by x numerator form divide by 1 minus 1 by x denominator form. Now, I am simplifying the numerator by taking LCM least common multiples of this two term is x. So, x is a LCM of this two term x plus 1 in the numerator divide by x. Similarly, take the LCM or LCD least common divisor as a x for the denominator term x minus 1 divide by x. Now, how to rewrite this x plus 1 divide by x times x divide by x minus 1. We can scratch x it become x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Another simplify, simplified uh, simplification problem based on the exponent. So, a to the power of 3 times b to the power of minus 1 times c to the power of negative 2 divided by a to the power of negative 2 times b to the power of minus 2 times c to the power of positive 1 whole to the power of minus 2 whole to the power of negative 2 and second. So, how to simplify this? See, first of all, I am applying power rule for this negative 2 times negative 2 become positive 4. Now, apply quotient exponent rule within this bracket. Okay? It became a to the power of 3 plus 2, b to the power of minus 1 plus 2, c to the power of minus 2 minus 1. So, simplify it become a power 5 times b power 1 times c power minus 3 whole to the power of positive 4. So, now apply power rule for this. Okay? So, 5 times 4 this 4 is common to all the terms inside the bracket. So, 5 times 4 become 20, 1 times 4 become 4, my negative 3 times 4 become negative 12. So, it become a power 20 times b power 4 times c power minus 12. So, then I am applying negative exponent for the c form. c power negative 12 can be become c power positive 12 when you are applying negative exponent for this. The solution can be written as a power 20 times b power 4 divided by c power 12. 
So, write the solution always as a positive exponent in an integer rational exponent problems. Now, come to the second type of problem solving, solving how to solve the exponent e equation. Okay, a power 4 by 3 minus 16 equal to 0, how to find the a value for this equation. So, I bring negative 16 to the right side first of all, a power 4 by 3 becomes 16 now. Now, a equal to I am bringing 4 by 3 the power term, the power number to the right hand side become 3 by 4. So, 16 to the power of 3 by 4 is a now. How to simplify the right hand side 16 to the power of 3 by 4? 16 is nothing but 2 to the power of 4. 16 is nothing but 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the power of 4. So, I return 2 to the power of 4 as 16 and to the power of 3 by 4. Now, I can scratch 4 4. Okay, it become 2 to the power of 3, 2 cube, 2 cube is nothing but 8. So, a value is 8 in this equation. Now, see the second problem. Solve x minus 7 to the power of 4 which is equal to 16. How to solve? How to find the value of x for this problem? x minus 7 which is equal to 16 to the power of 4. Okay, before positive 4 comes to the right hand side become 1 upon 4. Now, once again 16 is nothing but 2 to the power of 4 you know. So, I can scratch 4 4. So, x minus 7 become 2 now. So, I bring negative 7 to the right hand side it become positive 7 x equal to 2 plus 7 x become 9 now x equal to 9. So, 9 is the solution of this exponent form of equations okay x minus 7 to the power of 4 which is equal to 16 value of x is 9. Uh, you can check, you can uh, verify your solution by applying x values in the equation. x is 9, 9 minus 7, 9 minus 7 is 2, 2 to the power of uh, 4 is nothing but 16. Okay. So, thank you. Hope you enjoy my session. Okay. If you like, please subscribe my channel. Thank you once again.